Today we're going to look at Game 5 of Monaco versus Maccabi Tel Aviv through the eyes of Mike James. We'll go over how he read the game and led Monaco to the Final Four. Watch this until the end to get the most out of it and improve your basketball IQ. Now let's get into it. Here he's looking past the ball screen and he's seeing a bunch of space on the left side behind his initial defender. So he's going to reject the screen and immediately get downhill. Now once he gets downhill, the big man in help defense is going to come over to try and stop him. He's not going to panic and throw up a quick shot. Instead, he's going to get right into his Euro step. And as he's stepping around this help big man, he's also being physical with his initial defender. He's throwing his body back into him to eliminate any chance they have of jumping up and blocking his shot. He doesn't make the layup, but he gets fouled here. Here, he's going to get downhill as fast as he can after the handoff, and he's attacking the low man that's in help. He's putting pressure on them so they have to commit to the ball, and this opens the backdoor cut by his teammate. He also knows how to combine physicality with change of pace. He's going to come off this ball screen at a relatively slow pace, and then he's going to suddenly explode towards the basket. As he's doing this, he's giving a small bump to his initial defender. This is going to push the momentum more towards the basket before he quickly steps back into open space. Here he's just going to use a classic hezi pull up in an iso situation. Usually here when doing a 1-2 pull up you're going to hit the ground first with your lead foot, which in this case is his right foot because the ball is in his right hand. So you're going to lean forward to sell the drive, right foot's going to hit the ground first, and then as your left foot hits the ground you're going to explode into the shot. Here he's going to attack the closeout, and at full speed he's going to suddenly stop and land on his back foot, where he's going to shoot a high floater over his defender. Here he notices his defender's momentum going to his left, so he's going to put the ball through his legs and then burst into a quick in and out to really throw the defense in that direction. And as he's going downhill, he notices his big man has gotten behind his defender, so he's just going to immediately throw a lob to the rim. Key on this play is how well he initiates contact. As he's getting downhill, he's extremely physical with his defender, and then right when he wants to get the floater off, he fades away, making it much harder to block. In an isolation situation in the corner, he's going to set his defender up with a few through the legs dribbles. Then he's going to throw in a small hesitation before getting into a delayed sidestep into space. This is a really good example of how he's great at changing pace, changing height on his dribbles, and using a lot of misdirection dribbles to just throw the defense off. Here he's going to end it with a misdirection through the legs and then just step back into space. 